This is James Comey, the director of the FBI, fielding questions from members of Congress. What makes that exchange particularly interesting is that the congressman who was discussing that with James Comey is Mike Honda. He's the California Democrat who has Silicon Valley in his district. Uh, in essence, saying we must be careful and not rush to judgment here because the Constitution is at stake. Uh, director Comey agreeing but saying that the federal magistrate judge who invoked the so-called All Writs Act goes back to 1789. But folks, if you don't know what that is, it allows courts to make, force a company to turn over information, in this case data, as it pertains to being helpful to law enforcement officials. And of course, you, you add that on top of what has just broken at the top of the hour, and that's that Apple has filed a motion saying, drop it. We're not going to do it. Let us bring in Fox News' Brett Baer, because Brett, you know this is going to be a topic at tonight's GOP debate and on the campaign trail for both Democrats and Republicans, correct? It will be, Liz, and it's a, a significant topic. You just heard the back and forth over privacy versus national security. Uh, it is being argued within the administration and in some circles up on Capitol Hill that this is a one-time deal, and they want to make sure that it is, and it protects this, but, uh, you know, it opens up questions about where this goes from here, and I think that's where Apple is in protecting their, their turf, and it's also where some of these uh, congressmen are and, and senators who say, you know, why do we have to open this door? Exactly. And then, uh, again, though, keeping to what's happening tonight, because it is a big debate in Texas tonight, one of the Super Tuesday states. And you do have Donald Trump who had called during this very hour on Friday for a boycott of Apple. It doesn't appear people are chucking their iPhones right now, Brett, or, or putting them up on eBay in, in mass numbers. But uh, he's expected to make a big deal of it, I'm sure. And he would, he would really speak, I guess, to the feeling of a lot of people out there who feel, my goodness, open the phone, let us find out what was on it. But others would argue, and it almost sounds like James Comey is, is really understanding of Apple's position, although he wants the phone open, that we have to be very careful here. This argument transcends just a single person's phone. No, true. And I expect it, it will come up in the debate. But the, the issue is not uh, clarifying between candidates. Without Rand Paul on that stage, all of these candidates are talking for, the, for Apple to uh, agree to the DOJ's demands uh, because they believe national security is trumping um, any talk about a, a problem with a backdoor into that phone. Um, and so they've all talked, all these candidates who are still running, about the access the, even the one-time access on this particular incident. I do think that that overall issue, though, Liz, of national security versus privacy is one that will play out uh, in the presidential election, not only in the primary, but in the general election. I think it's an excellent point you just brought up about Rand Paul, because he was the one who, who, has, who has been very big when it comes to sort of that libertarian sentiment about keeping things private, which is, is certainly what what in part the Constitution would have supported, although in this case it's become extremely emotional. We know we have the ISIS problem and the terrorist situation, and it's horrific. Uh, let's talk about winning. <laughs> and, and that is a term that Donald Trump may have invoked, but it looks like Ted Cruz is, is ahead when it comes to the state of Texas. What is the latest data you're seeing, and what's your gut reaction and feeling about what might happen on Super Tuesday? Well, listen, a lot depends on what happens tonight, how this debate unfolds. Uh, it is significant. Debates have mattered. We saw what happened to Marco Rubio in New Hampshire, who was well positioned going in there uh, and had a bad debate and finished fifth. Mm -hmm. uh, he has bounced back now, but he really needs to make his mark if he is going to uh, challenge Ted Cruz for the one man standing uh, to go up against Trump. Trump is the best positioned right now to win win the nomination, bar none. I mean, he can, if he continues this momentum, he can sew up a lot of this by March 15th, uh, just on pure math. And, and I'd be remiss if I didn't quickly ask about South Carolina, the scuffle that's gone on between Hillary Clinton and, of course, Bernie Sanders. Bernie Sanders moving on to uh, certainly Super Tuesday states, but is this a lock for Hillary on Saturday for South Carolina's I mean, it, Democratic primary? It, it, Looks like it, Liz, going in that that she has a significant lead, and it would be a, a tremendous political shocker if, if even Sanders is really close. I think that that would be a big shock. Sanders is playing strategically for states that he thinks he can pick off. Uh, you know, Vermont, Maine, uh, maybe Michigan, maybe Minnesota, uh, playing in places that he thinks he can get delegates and then challenge the Clinton machine. Got it. Uh, I think 
She is uh, formidable, though, and, and likely to be the nominee. Well, Democrat or Republican, this Apple issue versus the FBI has already, it's like a snowball effect, becoming a big talking point on the campaign trail. Brett, thank you very much. Brett Baer. Sure, Liz.